Hi, Dan the Man here, just making a video about SNEMUL DS. Still have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that, but in any case, I apologize for the poor image quality, as this camera isn't the greatest and is horrible at close proximities. But I would have used my webcam, except it's even crappier. So, this is about as good as it gets, and I don't have a tripod, so I can only show you the top screen at it one time. This is the final version 4 of SNEMUL DS. I'm going to load a few games just to demo how they work, like Aladdin here, just a pretty good test game. Uh, as you can see, it's currently running at a very fast pace, even faster than normal speed. Uh, according to the bottom screen, it's at about 150% right now. That timer isn't always accurate when using uh, speed hacks, but regardless, you can see the screen flashing because no V-blank is set. I'm going to go into the options and go to weight V blank. That'll limit it to 100%. And if I go to no speed hacks, it will still slow down a little bit. So I'm going to change the speed hacks until it gets back up to 100%. And that was way too much. I'm going to go to cycles. Okay, so. Running at 100%, as you can see. And I'm not the greatest at this game, but, ah, damn it, stupid thing. Probably should have gotten the tape, but, eh, nah. who cares, it's just a demo. Alright, that's about enough of that. Alright, oh, snakes there, eh, yeah, forgot. Okay, enough for that game, gonna hit select ROM. Normally, if I had saved in the game, it would have automatically, uh, saved the SRAM to my card, but since there is no save, it won't do that. Or maybe it does and I just haven't noticed. Ah, darn it. Okay. I'm going to go down to one of the classic games, Donkey Kong Country. And I think I hit the right one. There we go. Okay. Usually for the intro, I'll speed it up a little bit, but uh, either way. Turning down the volume a little bit so you can hear it. And my battery's going dead, but either way. So, let's start the game. And I'll just do the minecart level because that's a really fun one. And I think it'll be a good demonstration of the background settings that need to be changed. Yeah, definitely have to change the background settings here. Just, I think it was 2301. Ah, there we go. That'll work. Let me get, uh, get back into focus. Okay. You can see it pausing occasionally. That's because of the paging system that Arcade, or still don't know how to pronounce his name, the developer of SNE Mule DS made a paging system that loads about 1 to 2 megabyte chunks of ROM into RAM. Normally, Donkey Kong Country would not be playable because it is already 4 megabytes by itself and the DS only has 4 megabytes of RAM. However, this paging system allows for large games to be run off of any device. As SNEMUL DS uh, supports DLDI, this is a great feature. Whereas uh, SNESI DS gets around this by requiring Game Boy Advance compatibility with your device, and I just died. Either way! You get the idea. Now to select another game. Uh, I think I'll just end with the classic Super Mario World. It'll work. And see here, because I changed the background settings, you can see the clouds are obstructing the background. So I'm just going to get them back to auto settings, auto layers, and go back. That should make it work. Works pretty well. Runs at full speed with sound. Right layers. Oh, here's another feature. Uh, you see how... Well, you can't really see, but the HUD, or the... Uh, Mario 5, and you know, score, all that stuff is at the top of the screen, somewhat off the screen. If you go to options and change the mode 3 option at the very top, 
for instance, I'm going to use Squish More, it moves it down so that you can use it with other, uh, with other, uh, when you set the screen to be, for instance, at the bottom, it makes it a lot easier to use. And once again, I'm not the greatest with this game, despite having beaten it several times. But perspective here is kind of not on my side. Just gonna finish the level quickly. Now, I have heard reports that it is uh, the second boss area, the second castle here, has very screwed up graphics. I have not played this, the second area yet or the second boss, so I can't really vouch for that. I've heard it freezes, but it might have been fixed in one of these releases. I believe it has been fixed, actually. In any case, that's my uh, quick video summary of SNE Mill DS. Uh, just go to his webpage to download it and find more information. I kind of forgot what it was. Let's see, SNE Mill. Yeah, just SNE Mill. Dot com. No, that's not right. Darn it. Eh. Give me one second. Going to the forums here. New provider for SNEMULDS homepage. Yeah, SNEMULDS.com slash DS. There you can find the latest updates, uh, more news about SNEMULDS, interesting facts is the current headline. You can also download pre-patched versions for your device. And I hope you've enjoyed that. This is Dan the Man, signing off.